Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do the dialogue system. Yes, well, all that stuff you've been waiting for, we're going to actually start programming. I've been, I'm, I've seen in the comments you guys asking a lot. You want me to already start working on the, on the dialogue system? So that's what we're gonna do right now. And the last video we worked on the character, we worked on the idle animation to make it look smooth, and today we're going to make him the teacher actually be able to say stuff or make our story actually progress so yeah let's get started so first we're gonna have to learn how to work with the gui which is the 2d um everything we see on the screen but it but that is not 3d i'll give you an example we're going to go to start the gui um we're gonna insert an object i want you to create a screen gui you always have to have a screen GUI. If if you just go and add a frame in the started grid, it won't work. So make sure to add a started GUI. So yeah, we're going to go to screen GUI, then we're gonna add a frame and you're gonna see a little white square pop up. And that's pretty much our frame. That's pretty much where we're gonna make our, our dialogue box. So yeah, go go click on it. Then go to the properties. We're gonna change its position to um, 0.5 and 0.5. You will notice it will change directly to the middle of the screen. Uh, you can also change the anchor point, which is um, this little black outline square you see right here, which is the center of the of the frame. We're gonna change it to. 0.5 comma 0.5 and you will see it's better centered now okay so we're gonna move it a little bit down if we want to make it go even more down we're gonna have to change the position to from 0.5 to point maybe eight maybe a little more nine and yes that's perfect and now we want to change the size you will notice if you leave it like this um the the size of the box will not adapt to the screen let's say we change the size of the screen maybe if you have a really small screen it will be too big and it will look bad so we're gonna make sure this size adapts to the screen so yes instead of using that we're gonna use um this one right here 0.5 make this one zero 0.5 okay that is too big so we're gonna adapt it a little bit make sure you you only use numbers from 0 to 1 because that is the scale that this that this property uses okay that's 0.2 maybe 0.15 okay that's perfect uh, maybe I want to move it a little bit upper to make it bigger gonna change it again um, okay and yes I think maybe a little smaller okay that's perfect yeah okay so we have our frame we're gonna change the color to black maybe if you want you can make it a little bit transparent 0.2 is okay this uses the 0 to 1 scale too and then inside our frame, we will actually make uh, insert a uh, text label, text label, which is where we will be able to write our text. So yeah, we're gonna position it. Remember to use uh, the um, the scale, the scaling size instead of the offset, just to make sure it actually adapts to the screen. Mm, we're gonna remove this zero uh, size one. Okay. I will make it a little bit smaller because I want add a little image right here. So yeah, I will change the anchor point to mm, change the position to the middle. and make the size a little bit smaller.
Okay, we're gonna move it to leave some space for the image. Mm, that's too much. And that's perfect. Okay, so we're leaving a small space here, here for our image. First, we're gonna change the the transparency of the of the text label to one to make it completely transparent. And make sure to this will be the text that will will pop up when we want the teacher to say something. So, so change the properties to whatever you like. You can change the font. You can change the make sure it's scaled. Uh, this will change. This will make the size of the font adapt to the to the frame. So you can tell it actually becomes smaller if you write a lot of text. So yeah, for now, let's keep it like that. Um, change the text color to white to make it look better. And yes, let's try it here. If we, if we write on the text, hello, that's how it will look. So yeah, I think it's pretty okay for now. Uh, so let's go ahead and in the frame, add, uh, insert an object, then go to image label. Okay, we're gonna change the size again, like we did before, until you're happy with it. 0.3, 0, 1, no. No, 25, that's perfect. And yeah, I think that it's okay right there. We're gonna change the background to one. And we're going to remove the placeholder. Okay, so now we can actually use this space to add a, an image. So we're gonna go ahead and do that with the teacher. Right now, I want you to Take a screenshot of the of the teacher or of your character because we're going to make an icon to to add here. So I'm gonna take a screenshot right now. Okay, we got a screenshot now. You can go to any design program. I'm going to use Photoshop to fix it a little bit. I'm gonna open my 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 this one gonna fix it a little bit like i said you can use any software you want um i'm gonna change the size okay so i think that looks good for our icon Perfect. Then we're gonna save it. Save it. Save as teacher icon. PNG. Okay, perfect. Now we have an icon. Now we have to upload it to Roblox. So we're gonna open Roblox. Um, gonna go ahead and go to Google Chrome. Okay, we're going to go to the Create tab. And then we're going to go to decals. And we're going to select our icon. Okay. We will upload it. It will take a little bit of time for it to be accepted. Don't worry about it. We can already start working with it. So we're gonna go ahead and open the toolbox. Then we're gonna go to this little four squares right here. You're gonna click it, then go to my images. And then you will see, maybe you won't, maybe you won't be able to see it, but it's right here, the, the icon you just uploaded. We're gonna right click it, and then we're gonna click on copy asset ID. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna go to, to our image label. Then on image, we're going to paste our ID. And perfect. 
maybe move it, move it a little bit to make it look better. If you're not happy with it, I'm gonna change the position a little bit. I'm gonna change the anchor point again. Then maybe fix the position a little bit. 0.5. Mm, maybe. Yeah, I think that's okay. Okay, we have we now have a little text box with our image and our frame. So now we're going to actually work on scripting it and making it work. By the way, guys, our frame is still looking a little bit weird. If we change the size of the screen, so I want you to go to frame. Then we're gonna go to size constraint, and I want you to change this to relative yy. Then we're going to fix the size again, maybe 8. And yes, it should look way better now for all type of screen now. Okay, now for the scripting part, I want you to go to starter character scripts. We're going to create a new local script. Then I want you to change its name to create dialogue script. Then go to the link in the descriptions that says create dialogue event. We're going to open it right now. And copy the text. And paste it here. Remove the print hello world. Okay, this will take care of animating the text. Now I want you to go to server script service then we're going to create a new object then a script and change the name to game script okay now we will go again to the to the link in the description that says game script we're gonna copy the link paste it here and we're gonna copy the whole script Perfect. This is a script that will manage our whole game. So before we get more into this, I want you to go to replicate storage, then create a new object and add a remote event. Make sure this remote event is called the same as this right here, create dialog event. Okay, now that we got everything set up, we can go ahead and create our first dialog event. So first we need to get the image of the icon we created earlier. So we're gonna go ahead and go to screen GUI, frame, image label. Then we're gonna copy the ID of the image. We're gonna create a variable, feature image. We're gonna open brackets and then we're gonna insert the image ID inside. Then we're gonna create dialog event, fire to all clients, and paste the ID and whatever we want the dialog to say. So we're gonna do a test first, testing the dialog system. And let's go ahead and test it. Let's just wait the 10 seconds. And there we go, it works perfectly. Now, if you wanna create a dialogue for a random player in the server, we can go ahead and copy this example right here. Gonna copy, then wait five seconds paste and you can make him say whatever you want to maybe I'm a random player maybe the teacher say something like welcome to the school then wait another five seconds and add another teacher dialogue that says come to the classroom Perfect, so 
we can go ahead and put the teacher in the classroom. And maybe we can even hide the frame. And let's go ahead and test it. Okay, so 10 seconds. There we go. Welcome to the school. I'm a random player. And come to the classroom. Perfect. Anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. In the next video, we will actually start working on our first timer, on our first challenge. We will learn how to kill the player or how to give it certain amount of time to finish a task. And yes, so stay tuned and see you in the next timer.